today I'm going to go into a bit of a single axe and then into the axe cards, focusing on no key variations. So I'm not going to go too much into the nitty gritty and the basics. This is this kind of uncharted territory for you. Feel free to raise your hand and ask questions and we can go more into it. Yeah, while, while we're going, still, you're going to start from scratch. So it should give you a sort of game to play with from this position at the end of the class. But as we go, if something's too complicated or not making sense, just haul and I'll come help you. Okay. Um, can I have some? Anyone? Thank you, sir. So we're going to start all our drills from the sing, uh, from the shin to shin position. So what the shin to shin position is, my, my opponent stands up. I'm going to place my outer shin to his shin. Now usually this is the toughest part because if you've been playing a lot of Noki these days, a lot of people are pummeling and trying to win the inside space. So we're going to have to be quite aggressive. And as soon as I grip it, I'm going to go in tight. So when I get here, there's a few things I want to focus on. Number one, I'm going to try to reach my... I like to think my elbow uh, joint goes into his knee joint and I'm going to connect it pretty tightly. Then I'm going to think my chest to his knee. I see a lot of people looking for ears to, to thighs. And this is something I want to try to avoid because you can see how it brings my posture kind of down. Number two is I'm going to try to make a small angle on my opponent. It gives me a lot of leverage to go for resting positions and stuff. So I don't want to be stuck in between his legs, looking through them. I'll be looking at his side a little bit. So this is number one. We're going to come in here and we're going to start all our drills from here. Just get into the rhythm of being here and going into the single legs. We're going to go in, we're going to go tight. My loose hand is going to reach to his knee and just push him slightly off balance, putting all his weight on his outer leg. It makes this one light and as soon as we do that, I'm just going to lay on my elbow, raising my leg as we go. And then I'm gonna let it, let it go through and pull his leg to me. So I'm kind of pulling it into mount position, but from there I'm gonna bring my knees to my chest. One goes outside, one goes inside, and we have the position we're gonna be working on today. From here, a few things. Number one, don't be lazy with your ass. Keep it up in the air, be tight. And the main thing we're gonna focus on today is this grip here. We're gonna use it all the way through. So I'm just gonna reach around for like a Ankle, uh, ankle off grip and keep it tight here. Raising my hips up and then I'm going to make a small angle and as you can see when I make my angle, his heel starts lifting off the floor. And that's what we're looking for. I don't want, want him to be flat footed on the ground because it makes it easier for him to peel off and move. So as high, knees pinch, grip through and then slide angle. So just for a few reps, let's go for this. So start here. Come in tight, chest to him, push, lay, go through, go high, and then wrap it around, and small angle. Okay, let's get a few reps of this, and then we're, we'll go over some stuff from there. Let's go, class. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so we're going to start every drill we do from here. I'm just going into the shin to shin, just get the wraps in and, and get in the rhythm of doing it. So this is kind of the, my go-to setup to go to the single legs, but there's multiple ways you can go from there. For example, I'm escaping mount, I hip escape, and I get into single legs. Uh, guard, guard retention, I go underneath my opponent, whatever. I, I like to look at this one as the kind of primary setup to go into the single legs, if I have pure intentions of going there, if that makes sense. So from here, uh, can I borrow you again? Sure. Same thing, I'm gonna start up here, push him off balance and go in. From this position here, there's multiple easy sweeps to go to. For example, one that I'm not gonna, we're not gonna spend time on drilling, but I'm gonna off balance my opponent. And what happens when you off balance something like this, he's gonna try to step back and put his weight back on his foot. And that's when I can overextend it the other way, go for basic egg clocks and we have the grip immediately. Or just like, Let's try and through and come up and get the sweep. But today we're mainly going to focus on off balancing him, placing him on his arms, and then going into X card from there or multiple submissions. So in no gi, of course, we have less kind of control. It's going to be tougher. So that's why I want, as soon as possible, I want my opponent to be on his arms, on his hands. So the first thing we're going to do from this position here, I'm just going to go uh, push him slightly. And I'm gonna 
bring my heel kind of to the floor, and I'm going to come up to my elbow like this. So as, as you can see here, we have a beautiful angle for going to the heel hook. And we're going to play with this really slowly now. But what I'm doing here is I'm coming up to my elbow to create kind of an awkward angle for my opponent to do the runaway man. So what the runaway man is, sometimes when I, when I get to my side here, he can easily just pull this knee out, start running away from me, get away. But as I come up to my elbow and you try to take it away or roll, it's going to be really tough for him. There's, there's, there's another thing I'm doing here is my bottom leg, I'm pulling that to me, and the other one I'm pushing through, just slightly. From here we can walk a figure four if we want to, or just keep this open and reach and catch the far away leg with this one. And then pull and push. Sort of like we're cycling and, and the pedals just stop moving and we want to push it through. From here, I'm going to wrap, I'm going to find his heel and I'm going to slowly connect my arms like this. If we were in a match, I would probably just duck down right now, but we're not, we're just going slowly. So I'm going to stay on my elbow, I'm going to catch the heel. And what I'm focusing on when I'm catching the heel is my armpit, I'm going to find the toes, and I'm going to pinch them. From there, find the heel, wrap, and I'm slowly going to start turning this way, and my opponent is going to roll with me. So please just roll with your opponent. From here, we stop, raise our hips, and slowly bring them forward to the heel finish. In a typical match, we will finish it in the roll, in the rotation. We will be attacked immediately, hips go in. But we're not in a match right now, so we're just going to go slowly, controlled, stop here, pinch everything tight, lay on the side, slowly bring your hips forward, back, arch backwards, and then we get the tension on the knee. And it's super important that in the beginning, uh, we talked about not being lazy with your, with your, with your ass, bring it high, because that means when we're here, I'm connecting my, my hip to his knee line. So if, if I was lazy, I would be here, if that makes sense. Oh, a lot of information. But once again, we start off here, we push, and we get to here. Immediately, I'm starting about off balance, starting to think about off balance in him. So I'm gonna push through with my legs, bring him to his arms, and then come up to my elbow. Uh, when we're drilling this, it's super important that you're not tensed up in your leg. Just be relaxed and allow your knee to bend like this. Then find the toes, pinch. Catch, start rotating, stop, bring your hips forward, back, out to back. And we get the heel finish. We can also do the figure four, or whatever you prefer. You wanna see it one more time, or is it too much? So, push, get into the single axe. We start off balancing our opponent. This foot starts coming down as I come up to my elbow. Push and pull, motion going on, catch the toes, reach, rotate, catch, slowly bring this forward, or come through for the figure four. Everything just slow, steady, controlled, nice and easy times, and everyone goes home happy. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay, so that was a bit nasty, so let's move on to some real stuff. So usually you either catch it in the motion or you can just use it to come up, get the three points. It's fine as well. But it's all about off balancing our opponent, making him go forward, and trying to get his arms into onto the floor. Because as you know, in Noki it's a lot of times like inside there, it was a bit slippery, right? It's hard to keep control, and that's why I like to use this grip. And then I have to like make my opponent go forward and placing his hands on the mat. And that's where the X card comes in really solid for us. So, can I borrow you? So, from here, there are a few cues to go into the X card. Number one cue is when he kind of stood uh, in an awkward way and I, I'm thinking I can't off balance him, his foot is kind of going far away from me. Oh, there's one thing I, I forgot to mention before. If he's standing close together with his feet, you can always just grab it and do this like, Sing, uh, super basic, sweet like this. So if my opponent stood 
the solid balance. His, his feet are far apart, and I'm, I'm feeling like I can't do anything. I can't off balance him or whatever. All I'm gonna really do is slide my foot to the far away knee, and then my other foot is gonna come to the inside and go into the far away hip. And we're gonna maintain this grip here. So this one is it's gonna be super important for us. You, you could go in, and a better grip would be going here. But the, the key grip, but it's sometimes it's tough to get here. And I'm gonna use this grip and my feet to get into that position eventually. So we catch this, knees turn to either side, and as soon as I'm here, I'm gonna think again, I'm gonna get his hands to go on the floor. I don't want him stood on in a good balance on both his feet. So immediately I'm gonna kick out, I'm gonna extend my feet, and I'm gonna lay it to my side all the way here. And what this is doing is, it's making him into like a tripod, and it's taking all the weight off this foot here. From here, there's a there's few things we can do, we're gonna go into them uh, again in a bit, but now we're just gonna go here. You could even try doing the same thing we just did from this position right here. So, one, once again, we have the single legs. I'm trying to off-balance my opponent, I'm trying to go for the basic sweeps, nothing's working. I can't make him turn his knee away, he's in a super good balance. All I'm going to do is slide, go through, extend, and go to my far away shoulder. Another cue would be if he tries to uh, yeah, peel off my feet. And my, my feet is just going to pummel to the inside straight away. Extend, come to the side, and from here we're going to stop. We're going to maintain this grip for now, but this is usually the time I would switch to the other one. I'd go over, and I'll have this, because there's no time for him to take out his foot when he has no weight on it, if that makes sense. So here, I was just gonna stop from there. Go again, single legs, reach, go through, extend, come all the way up to the shoulders, and, and make sure you're looking, looking the way you're, you're turning. Because sometimes I see people have issues getting into his arms, especially if he's trying to be tough, make sure you just extend, and at the same time you're extending, you're gonna turn, and you're gonna use your shoulder to drive into his uh, calf muscle here or whatever, backwards foot. Shall we try? Let's go! Uh, one more small detail to add. We're gonna go into a basic uh, technical stand-up from there. I know a lot of people know the technique, but my focus is going to be mainly on the no-gi variation. It's a bit different. Well, I'm not going to call it the no-gi variation. It's this grip that's the whole, whole main uh, difference. So, uh, can I use sir? Same thing. We're going in, and the point of here, we're going into shin to shin. Uh, single uh, the X -word. And we're going to maintain this grip. Now we're going to push up, and we're going to come over here. We can use this grip to do the very basic technical standard, but it's a bit different. The main issue we have with the, I don't know what they call this grip, getting a scoop grip or whatever. But, so from here, as I go for the technical standard sometimes, and if I try to do it the basic way, it's going to be super simple for him to kind of step back, and put all his weight, uh, go back into me, yep. and push me back on my, on my back. This doesn't happen too much with the ear, uh, ear grip here on the shoulder, because it's, it's it's bit tougher for him to, to kind of push me back now. So what we're going to do, if you want to use this grip to do it, is I'm going to place my bottom foot into his kneecap. I'm going to come up to the other one, and immediately I'm going to start moving back behind this and coming up. So I'm taking away, I'm rotating, and I'm taking away his straight angle uh, to step back into me. So we're going here, put him on his arms, switch, push, Rotate, and from here we're going to do the technical stand up. So I'm looking straight at the back of him. Come up from here, tip the foot, and then double top. The other variation is putting the feet, uh, the foot on the shoulder. And if we've been using this grip and we want to go foot on the shoulder, it's super, uh, super important that we do it in a controlled way. So we have this. Now from here I'm going to go my loose arm and reach all the way over. And it's just gonna come here as kind of a, a sort of grip to control it. When I have this touching my ribs, from there I can go underneath and go here. From here it's a super simple 
Let's him stand up. Palm to palm. Pull him down and then start attacking whatever you feel like. The main thing is when we're going for this, we have to spin the circle, like cut the angle, and then we can come up. Otherwise, he's just going to put all his weight back into you and it's going to be a tough time. So, one more time. We push, we come in, we go to X, we push him out, come up to our elbow, push him away, and then rotate. You see, uh, as he's moving, trying to like catch me, it's going to be tough for him to put his weight into me. Or, two, we're here, I come over, I control, I release, and I put his heel to my ear, step. Go on the foot, put the foot on the floor, and then do a technical stand up from there. Palm to palm, pull it down and start attacking. All right. Thanks, boys. How much you drink? How how are we so far? Everyone, everyone following along quite nicely, or? Yeah. And anyone has any questions or issues so far? Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> when you squat the yeah. arm, you bring on the shoulder. Are you on your elbow? Or you uh, both things. Both things can happen. And there's there's one thing that I wanted to mention because I got asked. But when we when we have this grip here, and I, I, I'm wrapped around the foot. There's, there's, there's not a lot of point in connecting my arms. It's just nicer and it's, it's, it's easier. We can use the free arm, so I have it wrapped and I can do a lot of things with this free arm here. I can push my opponent away. I can come up to my elbow, that's fine as well. It depends a lot on what, what he's doing as well. So I, I just like to start with connecting my arms because it makes things uh, less hectic. But as soon as we get into a comfort zone with this, we can, we can start letting this go, keeping this tight and then using this for a lot of things. For example, coming up to your elbow. That creates a good angle. Anything? I have a question. Um, when you've like tripped your opponent and yeah. flipped him over, what is like the, I, I'm not sure how you did that or like how to come into a good position. Yeah, after yeah. That. can I have you again? So when we, when we have, when we're doing the, so I have the hex card, I'm kicking my opponent out and I'm, Coming up to a tempo stand up, doesn't matter if it's this one or the other one. And usually when I come up, you see his foot is still on the floor. So from here, I'm just going to do a step in, reach, grab it, or kick it to take it over. And then I get him here. So it's usually just a, just a matter of doing a small step to the side, to create this angle here. You can see his, his feet are kind of parallel now. It makes it easier for me to kick it, or reach down and grab it, and then pull him through. There's one more technique I'm going to, and then we're going to do a quick recap, and then we're going to play with it just a little bit. So, <clears throat> the last technique I want to do is it's a bit nasty one as well. So, we're going to go into the same position, we're going to have to kick or put it out, and we're going to have it here. Uh, and one thing worth mentioning, if his knees, I saw a lot of people, it happened to a lot of people, if he crumbles down and he falls down to his knees, at any time in the technique, I'm, I'm kicking him out and his knees fall to his mat, like this, there's no there's no point really in attacking anymore. I can just let go, come up, and start attacking the back. It's super simple. So if you see your opponent crumbling down or falling down to his knees, just let go, come up, attack the back, attack the legs, rest one down, and, and pin him. That's it. Okay, so from here, we kick him out, his, his arms to his mat. And now all I'm going to do is the same thing we did before. I'm going to reach over as deep as I can, and I'm going to go as close to the heel as possible. Here. I'm going to touch my own ribs, and from there, instead of going underneath, I'm now going to find my pinky. He's going to find his pinky toe. And my, my pinky is going to align with all his toes, and I'm going to grab, holding it like the top of his foot. From there, I'm going to connect my, my wrists, so I'm doing sort of like a kimura grip. From there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to look towards him and I'm going to turn. So I'm not going to move the whole foot. That's the main issue I see sometimes with this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the top of his foot towards so the big toe is rotating towards his body like this. 
going to get a lot of tension on the, the joint here, and we're going to try to break that. If my opponent rolls, and that's going to happen a lot of times, he's going to panic and he's going to roll, all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the feet, so uh, go for a full roll, I'm going to roll with him, and then we're going to finish him from here. Doing the same thing, we're not going to move the whole foot when he's finishing the tall hold. All I'm going to do is pinch, and then rotate this towards his, his body. Big toe towards the back of the thigh, sort of. And we get a lot of tension on the ankle. If we lose him, we still have top position and we get the sweep. And that's completely fine as well. So, one more time. Here, kick him out, him up. Reach over as, as far as you can. Don't be shallow. If you get shallow grip, it's going to be tougher. But as far as you can, Pinky finds the pinky toe and align your uh, pinky with all his toes, grab the top of the foot. Don't go here, see that all this space in between, I'm going to go all the way here. So my elbow joint is sort of at his heel. I'm going to move just the top of his foot towards the back of his thigh. We can also switch over the heels, it will not be extra nasty. Or if he rotates, if you roll, keep this roll with him and finish. And there's nothing really I'm doing, I'm just keeping this tense and following his roll. And if you feel you don't have it, just let go of it and come up and get the three points. Okay, that's the last technique. We're going to do a small recap and then we're going to go into uh, just play with it a bit. Let's go! <laughs> And uh, as we're going through what we've been doing today, if you have any questions or any issues regarding any of the stuff, then just feel free to, to shower or whatever, to stop me in the middle of anything. Uh, trust me. So, first thing we went through, there's multiple ways to get into the single legs, but my preferable, you might have something else, my preferable way is going to the single chin. When you're going for shin to shin, especially in Noki, you want to be a bit aggressive. And as soon as your left's on, you want to keep it tight. Uh, main issue we have here is people pummel their feet. But as soon as we're coming in tight and everything's uh, connected, if he tries to pummel, and he's just giving me the engage. So it's the, it's the timing a little bit before I get into everything's connected, and then he can pummel his feet and get into the middle space here if we have issues. So go tight, connect your chest and everything. Small push on the far away foot, rotate and go into the single legs. From here we're going to connect, one, one arm is going to go through and immediately our ass is going to go high in the air, my knees are going to go tur turn to, uh, inwards and then if he tries to get back into posture then we can hyper extend and sweep him this way. From here we have a basic foot lock or reach through and come up and get the three points. If at any time I can catch the far away uh, leg with my arm, go for it and just get another simple sweep in. If my opponent is in a solid posture, or uh, and also we went for this one where you come up to your elbow, catch the heel, rotate and finish it in the roll. If at any point my opponent is in a solid posture, solid base, I'm not able to do anything, or he's peeling my foot, and we switch into the X. I'm going to maintain the same grips. I'm going to push him away, I'm going to come up to my elbow. Number one, place your foot on the back of his uh, leg, come on the other one, and then start pivoting to the behind. And coming up from there, reach through or grab him, wrestle him down. Or go for an over grip, scoop him up to your shoulder and come up from there. If at any point his, both of his knees touch the mat, let go, come up and take the back. And then from the same position, we had going over, catching the toes, heavy elbow. And there's one thing I want to mention from here. If you're trying to do this, laying on this side here, it's going to be super complicated to find the toes. They're hidden underneath my body. So we want to be on the side to see how his toes are kind of exposed now and it's super easy to grab. I saw a lot of people had issues finding the toes. So just make sure you're turning all the way through. Then heavy elbow twist, 
get the tap, or he rolls and we roll with it. Finish from here, or start attacking the heel from there. So that's about all we went through. There's one more super sweep, uh, super simple sweep uh, from the position we were in. His, his arms are on the, on the mat, and this is gonna happen a lot of times. When somebody places you on the mat, you wanna go back up. So as soon as he gets back up, I'm just gonna pivot my foot to the back of his heel and sweep him the other way. It's a super simple cream on top of the cake. Do we have any questions or issues or thank you for everything? Okay, cool. I have a question. So I saw you uh, yeah. Uh, from the X or? Yeah. Oh, boy. Put on the spot. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it how it all went through, but I do it do it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. It might have been just like a super like simple oh, yeah. to one of these, but sometimes it. Like random things happen yeah. and I huh, don't know what's going on really. Uh, yeah. On the toe, it seems that uh, my partner was pointing out that you don't get the, the meat of the mat for the foot that you're attacking that's hard to finish. It's going to be tougher because it gives it more like leeway to move, yeah. but it's possible. It just make, uh, and I just have to make sure that. And that's the whole thing with going just for the top of the foot. It, it means that I'm not attacking everything. So I'm able to finish my opponent from here. Okay. But sometimes if I don't get his knee on the floor, because this creates a stronger lever for us, yeah. then I go over and I force him to the mat. Okay. So yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. We don't really have time to play around with it, but I wanted to just say thank you for coming to the class. Thank you for coming to the camp. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'll be here until Thursday, uh, if you have any questions or anything regarding any of this stuff. And I'll be teaching them my first E class in three years tomorrow. So, uh, <laughs> you bastards voted for it. So uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, but can we have a group photo? Yeah. Thank you for the class.